Researchers at the University of Georgia's Animal and Dairy Sciences Department in Athens have announced a groundbreaking development that has the potential to not only advance animal agriculture, but may also help treat some of the most debilitating human diseases. The Monitor's Mark Wildman reports from UGA in Athens. These may look like ordinary pigs to you, but to the scientists at the University of Georgia, they are nothing short than a modern medical marvel. They are the result of decades of study and plenty of failures. But what doctors Stephen Stice and Franklin West did was find a way to produce pluripotent stem cells from livestock cells. Pluripotent stem cells can turn into any cell in the body, like human embryonic stem cells. So basically we've taken an adult cell, turned it back into a very uh, immature stem cell, and then put it into an embryo, and with that embryo we produced uh, a, a offspring, a number of offspring. This discovery right off the bat could greatly change hog production as we know it. A lot of corn goes into uh, feeding pigs. So if you could make these pigs uh, so that they are able to digest some of the lesser quality feedstuffs, we can convert these animals into more efficient and, and better for the environment uh, pigs and for the farmers. The technology has been successfully done on mice, but the fact that it can now work in livestock is a huge breakthrough. The other possibility that is out there is maybe there's specific traits that you're interested in. Maybe you want to have beef cattle that produce larger amounts of meat or dairy cattle that produce more milk. And so the thought is maybe we can introduce some of these genes to increase uh, production to help feed uh, the world a little better. As far as humans go, this research could have enormous implications for the treatment of diabetes. We collaborate today with a, a group at Emory University. They are taking daily taking cells from the pig pancreas and, and transplanting them into animal models for, for diabetes. The latest findings add to a long list of important discoveries by Dr. Stice. Among others, he received the first U.S. patent on cloned animals from adult cells. But this technology is not cloning. In all involved feel, it will be widely accepted by the public. Frankly, Steve Stice could win a Nobel Prize someday. His research is at that quality. But the, the real importance of this is that it bridges this gap between animals and humans in a way that avoids a lot of the ethical issues, especially embryonic stem cell issues that we've had to be concerned about in the past. This is a major breakthrough, and the fact that it's come out of a college of agriculture is something that I think that just the rest of the world needs to hear about. Dr. Stice says he has been working on this technology for the past 20 years, but it was his young assistant who finally made it work. I think there's uh, a lot of things that we've developed in our lab, but this is, is very much right there at the top. And Dr. West feels like this is the first step and possibly bringing back extinct species. You have to have DNA um, that is actually fairly well maintained. And so maybe something like a mammoth that's been frozen in the ice caps ext for extended periods of time, we could collect cells from those animals and, and produce um, live individuals. But it's not gonna happen very soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, they will enjoy the miracle they have, even though it looks like an ordinary pig. In Athens, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.